Hello everyone, Tech in Zero here. Today we are going to discuss about Android app security in practical way. So level of this tutorial is intermediate. I am assuming you have basic Java code reading and Java byte code reading. And uh, I'm also assuming you have like basic uh, knowledge of Linux commands. So these are the tools uh, I'm going to use. Android emulator, I'm using Jenny Motion. APK decoder, uh, APK tool, I'm using. Uh, Dex decoder is uh, Dex to jar. Dex is basically a Delvic uh, bytecode, which is uh, going, which Delvic uh, VM understands. And uh, bytecode viewer, I'm using uh, JDGUI, which is the Java bytecode. Uh, and ADB, Android uh, debug bridge, and key tool and jar signer are basically to sign our application when before installing into the emulator. Uh, Frida and Roser uh, we will discuss later. So subtopic is uh, picking some vulnerable app uh, from open source for demo. So I have picked uh, one app uh, for demo and uh, get the small code. Small code is basically uh, assembly code for APK and change it. So in the previous video uh, if you have seen it, if you have not please uh, go in the description you will find the link and uh, if you have seen it uh, this is the app I I was uh, showing so there is a root detection button if I click it if device is rooted it will show device is rooted so uh, this is showing because uh, this is the activity related to this uh, uh, page and where we are checking all these files if they are present then device is rooted so uh, what I did I changed the file name of in that uh, emulator and it uh, it was working fine if I change the file name and it will show device is not rooted we have seen this in previous video so in this uh, video what I'm going to do is I'm going to change in the code instead of uh, changing in the at the like runtime I'm changing file name instead of doing that I will change the uh, code in this uh, APK and uh, rebuild this and then we will see it will show device is not rooted even though this device is rooted Okay, so let me go to the code. So this is the uh, code which we got from the APK tool when we uh, decoded it. Okay, so I will go to so this is a smally code. So this is the file basically all the strings, constant strings are here. So I will just uh, rename this file and uh, I will just uh, go here apk tool b I will just rebuild it. So this will uh, this will take this mali uh, directory and rebuild our code. So let it uh, rebuild and meanwhile let me uninstall this application because uh, this file also be the same name and it will not be installed uh, so let me just uninstall it ok it's uninstalled this is also installed so before installing into our uh, android emulator what I need to do I need to sign it sign this application so for signing I'm using uh, these two tools key tool and uh, jar signer okay so this is a generate key pair this is the path where I want to uh, store so key dot uh, key store is there let me type it one at the end I think it's already available so for demo I'm uh, writing it again so alias we name we can name anything this is the algorithm we are using RSA and let me just enter it so password we can set it in. so this is the password test me I enter is not required yeah, file is written keystore.1 there 
okay for now we use uh, jar signer to pass this key store file and enter it and pass our apk here app okay so okay so this is the alias i renamed it and i'm here using key dot key store one in my home sorry i passed the wrong name yeah it is signed now it's showing jar is signed so now we can copy this let me open this another emulator so it's uh, installing the new application so this is the okay so this is installed now if we go in the root detection now if i click it it is showing device is not rooted because the we have changed the code in this uh, apk and it is now checking uh, base dot apk file instead of base dot one so now it's changed to base one here so that's why it's not working okay So this is the uh, basic uh, method of repackaging, how we are uh, repackaging our code. So there are uh, other methods also uh, with using the file and all. So there is two, three ca uh, cases I want to cover more. So there is one more case is. Okay, so so there is this case uh, unprotected. Uh, uh, unprotected. We will discuss in uh, follow up video and uh, apart from this, yeah, this one hard code issue. So there are like you have seen apps where uh, this promo code uh, is hard coded into the uh, into the code and uh, it's asking for a price if we enter promo code we can get it for free so how to find this kind of issue so so there we what we, we can do we can uh, get this molly code and we can uh, get this uh, java byte code from uh, any apk which is showing this kind of information and we can uh, check whether there is a like this is the hard code activity class and if we if i go here there is a promo code it's a new 2019 so if i enter this promo code here so it's showing price zero so you got this product for free so this kind of uh, uh, techniques we can use to get the information from the byte code and if the if there is any promo code hard coded we can just uh, uh, apply it and get that uh, particular uh, thing for free so this is a uh, also kind of vulnerability where people hard coded hard code their promo codes in the uh, apk so we can get that from your java byte code uh, so that's all uh, in this video so in the follow-up video we will discuss about frida and browser how instead of rebuilding and repackaging whole things which takes a bit of a time so instead of that how we can uh, directly uh, change change the behavior of uh, our uh, uh, apk at the runtime so that's all in this video uh, please uh, like it if you like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you all